In the last episode we learned how to display our data on our page and it looks something like this. So we get all the posts right here. Uh, but I left you with a bit of a cliffhanger. So what if we wanted to display images right here and we want to display images? Then we can go to our REST API and check out what we are getting from it. And as you will see we are getting this featured media and then the ID of the media. So what that means is uh, we can go to this URL right here media58 and we would get the URLs and all the other data that we need uh, for that image so we need the URL to display that image right here above the title. Now the problem with that is is we would have to make another request to the server to get this media and then we would have to do some JavaScript magic to actually connect our post with the URL that we get from here. And uh, that would of course make our application or our theme a bit slower. So in this episode instead of doing that we will learn how we can manipulate the WordPress's API to actually show us the URL that we need right here on this first endpoint that we are connecting to with uh, Vue.js. So in this episode we are going to learn how to do that and how to display our images. So first of all I'm going to open functions PHP file and go down here. So this is the functions PHP file of the Olympus theme. If you have another theme then you will just have to copy this. So I want to add an image size of 300 by 180. So I'm going to call it 300 by 180 and it's going to be 300 by 180 and it's going to be cropped. So this is my image size. Now of course uh, the problem with that is is that we defined this and we added images before. So we added images in the first episode when we created the dummy content. So to get around that we are just going to add a new plugin and that plugin is called Regenerate Thumbnails. Okay so we have uh, this one right here. We're just going to install it, activate it and then we can go to our tools and click regenerate thumbnails and regenerate all thumbnails so that the images that we do have right here they are going to uh, be made for, to fit that size so 300 by 180 uh, that's the size that we need to put the images right here and okay that's done now we have images uh, of that size and if we go to our WP REST API and go to po uh, Media 58 for example we can see it right here so you can see it right here so 300 by 180 and this is the URL of that uh, that image. So back in our functions.php file we have to prepare our REST API and to do that we do it by defining a function called prepare rest and we pass it some arguments so we got to have the data uh, we have to pass it post object and request request and then we just do this data equals data data Okay, then we have to uh, get the ID of our thumbnail. So for this post it will be 58. So to do that uh, you can use standard WordPress functionality for that. So thumbnail ID would be get post thumbnail ID and you have to pass it an ID and that ID would come from the post object post and the ID of uh, 
that post. So we can this actually replaces that number 58 right so this this variable contains number 58 for that post that we are looking right here but of course we don't want to hard code any values uh, in here but we want to just pass it that ID then we have to get the URL <coughs> of that thumbnail image so to do that I'm just going to call the variable thumbnail 300 by 180 equals WP get attachment and not image but attachment source image source okay and we have to pass it an ID that we defined in the line above so the idea of that would be thumbnail ID and then we would do the size of an image that we want so that is 300 by 180 of course if you wanted full sized image you can just do full or if you wanted the default medium image you could do medium whatever you want but we want to get that image that we defined before so 300 by 180 okay so now we got our variable setups and now we have to send them to our rest api so to do that we would do data and then we name our field so our field could be named something like fi so featured image 300 by 180 equals to equals to uh, thumbnail 300 180 but we have to be careful right here because uh, the value that we are getting from this is actually an array and the first value in that array is our URL that we are uh, searching for so we have to do this we can just pass it this variable so we have to do that and then we have to do data data equals this data and we of course return the data from this function okay and uh, that's about it we just have to add a filter add filter and it's going to use this function rest prepare post and we then call our function which is called prepare rest prepare rest and then we just do 10 and 3 and that's it so this is our function that is going to prepare our rest api and add it add this field to it and that field should hopefully contain the url of this image so if we go to our rest api right now refresh it so it seems we screwed something up uh, of course because I did repair rest instead of prepare rest okay and let's just see right now and as you can see we are getting the field fi uh, 300 by 180 but we are getting null right here and we are getting null because this is the post with the idea of one and it's a hello world post that actually doesn't have a featured image so <clears throat> we are not getting a URL from it but if we go down here we can see that the next post after that actually has a featured image and this is the URL of that image so we are getting those URLs that we need so the only thing that uh, that's left for us to do is to actually display that image on our page 
back in our index.php file uh, we just do image but we don't do source because we are using Vue.js we could do source but the Vue.js would give us some warnings uh, instead of that we do vbind vbind src so and then in there we just do post dot and the name of this field so the name of this field is fi 300 by 180 okay and that's about it so we did everything save it let's check out our page nothing happened oh yeah I, I forget this all the time so when you do vbind src uh, you don't do these curly braces so that's the actual problem right here so save this try it again and now we got our images as you can see right here so that's the way you add images to your API also you can do something like this so let's say uh, you don't want just this image you also want a full featured image or medium uh, uh, featured image so you can just do I'm just going to copy this out paste it right here and call this medium medium and then just define the size right here to be medium and then you would just define one more value right here and call it fi medium and of course call this variable and now if we save this go to our rest api refresh it we should get that as you can see another field which is uh, connecting to an image of 300 by 200 because that's the default medium values of WordPress okay so now you know how you would get the images to your REST API and how you would display them with Vue.js so this has been it for this video guys uh, thank you for watching if you like the video please like it if you like the channel like the channel or subscribe to it also don't forget everything we did here will be available for you uh, on github the link will be in the description below thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next episode